Okay, welcome back. This will be a pretty informal video. I'm just about to head to a wedding in the next half an hour. So I thought I'd bust this one out. As you probably saw, Webflow Conf uh, was yesterday and it's today. I was pretty uh, impressed with what they got going on. But really in the context of what I do, it's about that AI code gen stuff, particularly around Webflow Cloud and that that I want to talk about and posit ideas and ask for your thoughts and feedback in some ways to also shape the course because I think Webflow Cloud dropped a little while ago and that kind of shifted a what was a reacting Webflow course into a Webflow Cloud course and now it seems to have shifted back to a more broad React and Webflow course. So I'd love to know your feedback and thoughts. So I've got this, I found this uh, landing page they've got that kind of summarizes all of their AI stuff. Of course, I've requested early access to what I believe is probably the app builder here. This is basically lovable, replit. It's a vibe code tool built into Webflow. And from what I understand, it kind of uses uh, Webflow Cloud under the hood. So it doesn't, and this is my first question, it doesn't consider the existing website that you've, you've built it in, right? It's just a way to use Webflow Cloud. You're just vibing directly inside of the application that you create on your Webflow Cloud site. Now, maybe I show you quick, real quick. With Webflow Cloud, you build the app within your current Webflow site. So you can see I'm in the Flow State site, or slash app, or I don't even know what this is, is to be honest. Um, it will be slash something. You enter the Webflow Cloud world and it is completely separate from your Webflow website but it feels like to the user that it is part of the website. So you can have a beautiful marketing website put together with people who only know Webflow, and then they might sign into a backend system or a more advanced feature system, which is then the Webflow Cloud part. Hope that makes sense. It's kind of difficult to explain, and I'm trying to nail the vernacular about that. So again, just let me know. Your Webflow Cloud project that you're coding on your machine has no idea about what Webflow project is being put in that doesn't know the design system and blah, blah, blah. Way to do that is through DevLink. Now, that was something that was looking like it was uh, going to die. And then probably some bright spark thought, huh, we could probably utilize this for something I've got in mind. All that to be said, the Webflow Cloud project and the, I guess, the Vibe Code project doesn't really know the context of the website. Be nice if it did. And that would be my one request so that's quite cool vibe code app inside of of webflow that uses webflow cloud under the hood that is wasn't much of a surprise to me to be honest it's just a quicker way to get people spun up on webflow cloud without having to actually write any code or pull it down or, or as i say put it into github and do all that the big surprise to me was code components now oh, maybe I can get a video or something up here but in the stream here it is this is them vibe coding which by the way was until AI is good enough we need to stop live demoing AI so here we go to the code components this is it yes here it is so it's actually in the Webflow canvas itself and this is really cool and I'm just I'm just digging into the code here sorry if I'm off the camera declare component so it's all normal. Well, I say normal. There's a little bit of, yeah, you've got a name, you've got a name and description and stuff like that around here. So there's a bit of like bespoke setup, which we will absolutely get into on the Webflow Cloud course. Um, but ultimately, this this looks like a code component that you can drag and you can drop on to the canvas inside of Webflow. Train some here. I found this page which says you can use DevLink to import React components from external code bases. So it looks like there's a two-way system, which will be really exciting. It does look like each code component is completely isolated. It doesn't share styles, manages its own dependencies, state and context. It's also server-side rendered, but you can actually turn that off. And I know this because code components have already started rolling out to DMS business site plans and paid workspaces. So I think you can pretty much get started on it. They did also announce some new CMS APIs, and this is great. And this will go perfect with 
the um, the code components with the again hopefully I see Webflow Cloud as being very separate. But regardless, it's a third party API, so you'd be able to um, hit a REST API and get the CMS data. However, in code components, you probably would be able to pull those in just using a bit of code at the top or something like that. Either way, we have better access to CMS data from within code, wherever that is, whether that's Webflow Cloud, whether that's code components. So it's really quite exciting it launches next year so it's it's still a ways hopefully i can get um access sooner and Kabaza and i spoke about this on the podcast last week and we said he said you know uh like a replit like environment or something like that would be really cool and lo and behold they they sort of launched something um that fulfills those goals so yeah would love to hear your thoughts about it all keep on vibing Or happy no coding. Whatever. Have a good day.